everyone, and welcome to a, wow, I, what I hope to be is a scintillating, <laughs> exciting match, uh, game six of the season two of the OTML. With me, as always, Nima. Except when I'm not. I'm here today. <laughs> um, all right, dude. Well, we're getting going on this one. Let's see what we got. All right, let's get some good corpse. Okay, well, I know which one we're taking. Oh, and, oh snap. <laughs> Let me give a high gel. And by that, I mean beginner corp. Um, <laughs> beginner corp. <laughs> All right, dude. Oh, I'm praying that we have some tiles. Uh, city. Wow. Like wow. Oh, guys. man. We have good, some good cards, but uh, not a good mining guild hand. Well, it's not a good eco line hand. Ain't that the truth? Um, hello, lady. Welcome. Um, wow. I, 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 I think I think it's definitely mining guild, Lake Marineris. Uh, we got to take AI Central, right? Hey, Dan. Yeah, I mean. God, his his mining guild. I mean, I think if we take mining guild, we're just like standard projecting on turn one. Yeah, Marinaris is not for a long ass time. Wow, this is a uh, this is tough. I mean, let me just look at what Eco Line does. I forgot what it does. <laughs> I mean, just garbage. I mean, the problem is we can't play any of these cards with Eco Line either. I guess Nitrophilic Moss is the closest. <clears throat> That's the only one, but we can't even play it immediately. Oof, this is bad. Yeah, these are bad. They're both kind of combo -y hands, and they don't really have... I mean, here's the thing. Like, this might be a better Eco Line hand, but, like, I just never play Eco Line. Like, I don't trust myself to play that. <laughs> the problem is we're playing good players. They're not going to pass as tiles. We show well, it. I don't know. All right, let's say we take Mining Guild. Like, what are we taking? I think we're taking Peroxide Power, AI, Algae. Yeah, we, I, I mean, like, he's, al why Algae? Because it's like a decent card. I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah. Interpillic Moss. Like, I mean, what are we even taking? Asteroid Mining Consortium? I mean, we don't have a way to make that game again. Yeah, this is kind of garbage. I think we... I think... <laughs> hey, Captain, thank you. I think this might be eco line, dude. Oh, my God. I mean, I mean, okay. At least eco line starts us with some production. And we take peroxide power in these plant cards and just hope that we, uh, I mean. Those plant cards aren't online for a few generations. We're still standard projecting. When, and there's tons and tons of um, tile cards that we haven't gotten that we could probably see. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Yeah, well, this, is, this is a tough hand. I mean, Hey, Scratchy. Hey, Scratchy. All right. Oh, guys, sucks to play a high-stakes match with these cards because we are just in a hole and a half. I mean... Well, I would take Mining Guild, take a couple of cards, pray for something better. That's what I would do. All right. We'll take Mining Consortium, Energy Tapping. Oh, interesting. Uh, AI, Peroxide Power. Not Marinaris. I mean, it it might not be good. I just don't usually take that out of my opener. It's just yeah, it's not. It, it might not be good. And then water imports. Whoa! Second Jupiter tag, I and mean, it gives us a gives us a way to. I think we just take it as a flyer. We literally have nothing to do on turn one. That's an interesting point. We could, I mean, we could get some tiles down that way. Hey, David, thanks. I mean, we have we literally have nothing to do on turn one. So it's like, what's the? It doesn't matter if we 
take these cards. Okay. Let's, yeah. Let's say we yeah, okay. kind of convinced me. If we take one, two, three, four, five cards, that leaves us fifteen cash. We could cut one card and play a standard project ocean on turn one and try and bump our deal. I, I actually don't hate that. I mean, just cut energy tapping and keep uh, peroxide power. Yeah. I actually like that. This doesn't even have a building tag on it. This has a building tag. We keep these four cards and then just standard project onto a tile. I guess so. That's all we can do. Oh, gross. Wow. That sucks. <laughs> so, okay. So here's what I think we do. I mean, we need these cards too, honestly. Like... The other course yeah, was, I was thinking line. about that. It's almost worth just taking the cards. The problem the is, like, we need we need production. I, the problem is just cold drawing two cards off the top. Like, I, I just think, I think, I think the way that we win this game is we get some lucky draws in the first few, and I think we should go for. Um, we, well, okay, that that solves that problem. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna standard project uh, ocean. Yeah. Looks like we got Credit Core and Thorgate. I'm gonna put it on steel. I just <clears throat> with our hand, I think it's better. Uh, I would put it on titanium. We got water import. I don't think we're I, we're not doing that though. Well, why'd you take it? Well, in case in case uh, I'm gonna put it on steel, dude. I'm sorry, I'm over relief. It's just we don't have any titanium cards. Like, well, if you don't want to play water import, then okay. Um, no, I don't want to play it now. I would want to play it for, uh, for, um, if, if like we just get past another Jovian multiplier or something and, and like we want to have that as a backup plan. I mean, that's why I took it. Not, not to run out ocean tiles. Okay. I, I mean, it's just a great plan, dude. Like that's well, not really what, well, unless we get some titanium going, that's not a good idea. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but like putting the ocean tiles on here doesn't, it just gives us, it gives us two more credits, but in a way that's more restrictive given our, our hand. Also, we, we're going to want to be going towards Builder in this one. So yep. I just think that, I don't know, I, I, I think that right now it would just be better to have steel, but um, if we had a more impactful space card, I would have put it on the titanium. Besides, we lead off this generation, we might be doing another standard project ocean. Well, is there I mean, was there any value to getting water imports down? And that's a that's a tile generator right there. I mean, it, it's not a ton, but it's something. It's not because there's only two. There's only yeah. two that help us. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, what we really should be taking is sponsors, but I. What I want to take is anti-grab. No, nah, this is the wrong move. Comet's not bad either. Now I wish I had that titanium. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. I mean, sponsors is the the safe, like conservative pick here. I think Comet I think gets us a tile. I think it's sponsors. Like, there's no, we can't afford to play Comet this turn anyway, and there's no way that 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 titanium tile is going to last yeah, past this gen. So I think true. we take. I think it just sucks to pass anti grab. But we, yeah, I mean, anyone who knows us will be very confused by that. But oh well. I mean, honestly, all three of these cards are good. We're going to get something good back. Yeah, but anti grab is for us the least good right now. Well, indentured workers, I like. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we take this because if if the tile if the uh, event comes back around, which it might, those other two cards in that pack were good. We can take it and play it. Oh, so there you go. Nice. All right, we'll take that. I mean, I like media archives too, which is annoying. We're just passing so much money to people, but that gives us a way to snag this tile, and we 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 definitely need we need it. Still, nothing good with our steel. 
Okay, so shuttles came around. So I think we want all four of these cards. Let's see. Can we, if we go one, two, three, four, that puts us to nine. Yeah, we, we can play. You know, we can play workers into subterranean <laughs> reservoir, and then we still have enough for sponsors. Why? So why shuttles? It's just a good card. I mean, you know. I mean, just discount the space tags, and it's a good card. Yeah, but I, I don't think I would take that personally. Like, we're not doing, we're not going to do much of a space strategy in all likelihood. I don't think we have any strategy right now, Nima. I think it's, I think it's good. We've got, I mean, we're, I don't know. I mean, these discount cards add up. I mean, I, I think they're good, but. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing it doesn't prevent us from doing what we need to do, right? Like, but let's just make sure I did the math. No. We, we take these cards, it's 12, we go to 9, we go workers into subterranean reservoir, it costs us 2, we go to 7, and then we play sponsors. That's a good turn, and we get shuttles. It's not bad to have it. Sure. Okay. We'll see. Dude, you're going to love it, dude. Trust me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Indentured workers into reservoir. Ooh, I, I did the math one off. Lucky. All right. Um, I mean, here's my thought. Here's my thought on that, Nima. I don't know what we're doing. I really don't. <laughs> so, so like, let's say the next draft we get three good space cards. Well, okay, shuttle's gonna be good. I mean, or what if we get the media group? Like, okay, that's gonna be good. I mean, I think those cards. You are quite right that we may end up just not playing it. In which case, if that happens. Um, we sell it, and it costs us two to have that option. But you know, it it could be good. Okay, I mean, I don't see it yet, but I have been proven wrong many times. And we passed some good cards that draft. We passed. That's the card that we needed right there was Space Elevator. Yeah, that's a good one. We really needed that one. Well, we are building some semblance of an economy. Yeah. I mean, at any moment, we could get hooked up with good tiles, and this could start to it could start to snowball. It just yeah, if we can get some mining area or something like that. Yeah, mining area would be great. Like research outposts, like almost any any tile. It's still good. Nobody's been playing tiles. And we have a lot of stockpile of steel right now. And we haven't fallen too far behind in our production, even though we had to do some pretty drastic things to do it. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. So. Well, this game's really telling us to play space, isn't it? Uh, I. I almost think we just take Earth office. Like it doesn't matter which one of these we get. I mean, I guess you could say Convoy is the best of them. Convoy is a great card. But like, if we take Earth office, we're going to get something good back. It's true. There's no way we're playing Convoy. It's like thirty six. Like we don't have the money for that. We just take Earth office. Okay, I think you Although might be right there. We don't have any. We don't have any Earth tags. But I, I mean. I feel like it's this just, card, has, great card it has the most upside. I mean, I would definitely take one of these cards if there was like a fourth crappy card, but we're getting one of these back. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take Earth Office. Ugh. Yikes. The greenhouses, huh? Yeah. Not looking like a great greenhouses game at this point. No, we, we're not buying that. <laughs> I don't buy it. There we go. No, I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate that. It's good with Earth Office. I think we're playing that. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so. There's no more minerals to get though. Here's which event we got back. And they've been very, I mean, God, we just haven't gotten anything to do with the steel. Uh, this is this is annoying. All right, well, I think we're taking all four of these, right? 
Wow, I, I think I don't, I don't, I don't especially like building up a bunch of expensive space events. That I don't these know are, unless these aren't that expensive. Well, yeah, that one's not, but I don't know. I, I just got a feeling we won't be able to play them. But wait, why are you taking greenhouses? It's just a good card. I mean, it's we could play for it with steel at some point. I mean, it's a good card. And what are we doing this turn? It's, it's not like it's going to prevent us from doing something great. I mean, well, I mean that's a fallacy. I, I, I want to be careful there because like the more the more money we lose, the less we can do later, right? Hey, Malastero. That, that's true, but like, I mean, I think what we're doing this turn, if we take these cards, that gives us, that leaves us with twelve. We play Earth Office, we go to eleven, and then we play Imported Hydrogen. Maybe. The next turn, play throwing a comet and try and play a greenery. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe we just pass. I mean, gr greenhouses is a cheap building tag, and that's kind of the only reason I would want it. Greenhouses are good, dude. Trust me. It's a good card, but I don't think it's a good card right now. I think well, it sucks right now, actually. Well, I mean, that's because, well, yeah, of course it sucks right now, Nima, but like, it doesn't prevent, like, taking it doesn't prevent us from doing anything because no, I understand. What? We don't have anything to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're gonna get creamed in this game. God, this is unfortunate. I don't know what we could have done differently in this one. I mean, maybe maybe we're just supposed to be like eco line and blitzing to like just standard project cities and play greeneries or something. I mean, well, you, you know that's death. There's no way to win a game like that. We've got nothing going right now. I think we're just passing. I mean, what about that Earth Office Comet play? Well, I was just thinking about it. Like, the problem is we can't turn. I think we should probably wait until we can complete the whole thing and get a greenery out of it. Um, we got like, nine cards. That's what I was thinking. So, like, we're in position for planner here. So, I think we, like, if we go, I think we just pass this turn. Like, if we could play a greenery this turn, I would definitely do it. But if, like, we can't afford it, I think we wait till next turn. If we go imported hydrogen and towing a comet in the same turn, we can actually build up enough plants to play the greenery immediately. And that's a pretty good play. Mm. We can put the greenery over here and get a bump on our mining. If we, if we play this now, we're going to have five plants just floating, and this guy could just blow us up next yeah, turn, which is disaster. That's true. And we do know that there's big asteroid and stuff. Yeah, I think we just, we, I think we wait on that because this at least threatens that we can go for planner. And we are in, we're, all three of us are in position, but we're actually in the best position for it because we're going to be leading off the turn that it's going to come to a head. We would have to take a lot of cards to make it happen. But yeah, we right. actually might be one short now that I'm looking at. Would be or no? Mm, we would be seven. No. Yeah. Let's just see what happens. But I think I think it's better to slow roll that. And yeah, we just have a huge bank of steel right now too. Oh snap! Yes, that is what we needed for sure. So good. Okay, that's that is awesome. Man, that's a good card for us right here. Okay, so I mean, the the sick thing about that Nima is that we can. Okay. Uh, what do you think? I don't think we need lunar beam. We have power. Probably just business contacts. Yeah. Yes. Just cut yes. it. Yep, and it's an earth tag too. It would be cheaper. Moss. Uh, God, where's the building tags? Uh, we got that. We got a sick building tag here. We can't complain too much. That's true. What do we got here? He's not have. It doesn't have a ton. Everyone's passed on both of these cards, so uh, I I don't know. I'll probably just take moss. I think so too. I don't think so. Let us get on Gen four. I don't think we're well. So, what do you think? Are we? Well, I guess we're gonna have to make the decision about whether or not we're going for planner. 
So we're definitely taking outpost. I mean, the thing Probably. about the thing about business contacts is that it's it actually plus ones as a card. Oh yeah, uh, business contacts is great. So we could take we could take business contacts moss. That's three. That puts us at twelve. We can play business contacts. Well, no, we want to wait to play. This is actually good because we have Earth Office. I was just about to say, we want that with Earth Office. So I think we're taking these three, correct? I guess. If you, I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't really want to take Herbivores, but it means we're taking four cards out of the next draft if we want to do Planner. It's, it's okay. You can take it. Take or, Herbivores? I, we're, no, no, no. I, I'm saying, like... Taking Moss. Okay, we'll take those three. So here's the question. We needed to make a decision. Do I think... I mean, okay. Do we do we just pass the turn and then just have a huge next turn? Probably play Research Outpost, right? We have 12 cards, right? Well, we or can't how... because we're... Yeah, we have 12. So we'd have to... Uh, I mean, we, we basically uh... have to pass this generation and then buy four cards and take Planner. Okay. I think we should. Research Outpost will net us a card. We can, we can remember that. We can always play that. No, we want to put that on a steal. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Business Contacts will net us a card. Um, so we can always play that as our first action. Oh, God. Took seven from us. What is he coming after us for? Like, that's crazy. Uh, no one's clearly in the lead right now. I think we're just passing here. I mean, particularly after he took the seven from us, it means that we can't really chain anything good there. You're right. That other one does net us a card, but it's like, we actually, like, to get maximum value, we want to play Earth Office first. I understand that, but it's it's it, it's still okay if, if, if we need to use it in that way. We just lose a little bit of money. We're going to have a good next turn, and we're going we're gonna to have a milestone, and we're going to be in a good position to get Builder, is my guess. Let's see here. Two. Yeah, I think, I think we should have the inside track on Builder. Yes, we are a dictator, but that's uh, that's kind of chicken. I mean, it's just bizarre that there's a credit core player with Earth catapult. <laughs> it's like that's clearly the front runner in, in a game. I mean, it, you know, it's like just obvious that that person is going to be the biggest threat in the game. Um, yeah, that is scary. I mean, this guy scratches should be rooting for us to be competitive in this game. Otherwise, it's just going to get out of hand. Um, all right, let's hope we have good cards in this one because we're buying a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, probably. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, nope. Uh, gross. I mean, power infrastructure is a building. It's a cheap building tag. Um, and we can actually use it to make money. Um, That's a bizarre thing to take, but you're right. Space Station, I mean, we have, we have two space cards in our hands that we're going to play, three with shuttles. Space Station is actually not that bad. I do like having that cheap building tag. It's yep. hard to find them. We have one, two, three building tags in our hand. So that's five total. I'm leaning towards Space Station here. I think this is just really? better. Yeah, I mean, number one, we don't want to be passing more discounts around the table on up here. I guess we are passing the scratches, which would be better. But we also have one, two, three space cards that we want to play. 
Yeah. I mean, that's right there. It's six credits off. I mean, it's basically a point for five credits or something and could give us discounts on future space cards. True. You can choose. I, I think this is probably what I would take, but um, I, I can see merit for power infrastructure. I, I mean, I just don't, we're not racing for builder right now. Nobody, you know, but yeah, this is tough. Uh, I guess take space station. We might even get that card back. That's actually a good point. I might come around. Oh, Noctis. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's got to be it. That's actually not bad. I mean, with all the steel that we have, it's not bad at all. And we have a yeah. That's that gets, puts us towards builder or a uh, mayor. And it's a building tag. I like Noctis actually. That's yeah. Card for us. Definitely makes Mayor a possibility now. Uh, I mean, asteroid mining. I don't think we take it, though. Have to if we want to take the. I like that, though. Let's just cut that. That's what I mean. I think we have to buy it, though, if we're going to take Builder here. Oh, that's true. Um... I think it's worth taking Builder here. It doesn't cost us much. Ugh, cost us, it does cost us a decent amount because we'll have to take two cards. We're just going to sell these. Well, remember, we have the business contacts. It won't work, though, because these guys are also, they're going to be, a, I'm pretty sure these guys are in position to get it. Or are they? Dang, well, I what checked. I mean is, like, you can take one fewer card if you wanted to, or take them all, and then you don't have to, you can, we can play business contacts with a discount later. So wait, okay, so if these guys took, he takes four cards, is he, is this like before, this is before they actually pass the cards into their hand, right? I think so. So that's nine and nine, so they can't, neither of them can get there. So I think that we can actually, I think you're right, Nima, I think we can take three cards and then just play the, and we just lose a lot of value though that way because what we want to do is play research outpost and then play this for free and then play the other one for one less. I think we just take these. We're going to take them. It's going to cost us four credits because we'll sell them. I think it's worth it. Okay. Don't forget to take the other two. Oh, God. Thank Jesus. you. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! Wow. All right. Let's just, let's just slow roll now. Um, woo! Viva! <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right where do you want to play research outpost i mean we have noctis we could play it on um oh, yeah. that that's the card we needed oh, we could play it over on, on pavanas oh that sucks that was like why would you this lucky. yeah i guess that's good Pavanus, or we can't play it here because it's uh, it has to be next to no other tile. So the options are really looking at it's this double steel or the other one. Yeah, I'd probably say Pavanus then. I mean, we do get blown out if somebody just like plays a commercial district here. Well, we don't play Noctis until you know we have something in between them. Maybe we should just play it here. Could. Be okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, let's do that. Let's start with that. All right, and then play the Earth Office. So we're going to play space station next we got to make sure we do that and we hold on did, did we just is what's what's our planner plan right now we took it already oh snap you did okay yeah Great. i did it i'd already took it awesome awesome because it got a 14 economy already gross I mean, we have 10. 
12 if you count our TR. Okay, so let's go, let's play Space Station here, okay? A or do you, want to, do you want to play Business Contacts or see what we get? Yeah, I would do that. I don't hate that. Okay, I like LaGrange. Do we need power? No, we don't. We have a couple power. I think we yeah. just take Noctis Farming because we're going to end up with a lot of steel in this game, I think. Yeah, it's a, yeah I think you're right. You cool with that? I'm cool with that. All right, so I'm definitely going okay. yeah, to get this space station down because we got a, a bunch of space cards now. All right, so... So it's a, it's kind of annoying. I I really want to set it up so that we can make use of these event cards, but in a way that ensures that we can play this this plant. And I'd also like to get another city down. Do we have enough to just get Noctis down right now? I think we do. We go peroxide power, and Noctis is eight seventeen, so that's twenty three total. We do. We have plenty for that. Let's just yeah, do that. We'll, might as well do it. It's more economy. And that's not really, with our research outpost, it's not much of a threat as far as hate tiles. Let's just play Moss, too. Well, then I think we should really push towards the uh, mayor, then. Yeah, we'll be in the driver's seat. God, it's annoying that this guy played Immigrant City and now we're dropping down all these cities. But Oh well. Kind of nerfs our knock this a little bit. Just a little. I think it's still good. I mean, at least if anything, it just bumps our economy and it gives it lets us turn on uh We're playing for second in this one, but let's let's see here. So we I can, don't think that's true yet. It close. If we go, I don't think we have a single science tag right now. We got one. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the research out for this. So let's get Moss down. Actually. Ah, dang. Um, I thought we could actually, if we three, four, five, we can get we can get five plants right now. If we play this, that makes us like six. Yeah, we could play extreme cold fungus, but we don't have any way to break it. It's really expensive. One, two, three, four. We have four plants with. Uh, Greenhouses. Are you looking for a way to play a greenery? That's what I was looking at, like if it's worth it, but I think I'd rather just keep the flexibility. Yeah, I don't think so. How many tags do we have now? Five building tags. That's pretty good. Let's just check this. They've got... He's just got look at the four. Milestones. Got two. And how many cards does TJ have? Nine. All right, I think we pass here. Because if we're going to get in the builder fight, we're going to want to have a little bit of extra cash. You guys got 16. How many buildings did Green have? Four, so we're up by one. Okay. We've got two good building tags in our hand, which is the um, ooh, investment loan. I like investment loan here. Gives us more money. There's farming. And oh, and food factory is not bad either, actually. I don't hate that. I think, uh, let's see, we got one, one, two building tags, three with uh, AI, but that's. 
Oh man, I, I don't know, man. Like, I think I'd rather have the money here. It is a steel card. I mean, th this this plant production is actually not bad for us. It is a steel card. You are correct. I mean, and the four economy is not like. I don't know. I don't think these guys have plant production. I think we just take the money here. We have we have good cards here. Okay. Okay, bushes on the other hand, I like. You okay with that? Yep. Um, there has been hardly any terraforming. Well, we have good. We have a couple of good hands for that. Ooh, there's another science tag, which turns on AI. We have another one in our hand. Yeah, because we've got the. We've got this guy. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take it. Passing a bumper kind of sucks in this type of game, but these guys don't have anything yet. And I, I definitely want to cut the science tags since we passed anti-grab. All right, so we're going to take investment loan, bushes, artificial photosynthesis. Oh, we got farming. I don't think we take it, though. It's too far in the future. Damn, that's a good card, though. It is a good card. I think I think this is where we're going. Then honestly, this is not bad because he's out of position for Builder. Unless he gets it this turn, we're going to be ahead of him next turn. So we can kind of see how this round goes and then make sure that we're in, in, a, in the position to get it. Unless he gets to seven. If he gets to seven building tags, we won't pull it. Okay. If we take these three. Okay. We do this turn. Oh god, that worked out so that was so annoying the way that all went down. <laughs> well, it's not that big of a deal. We could have played research outpost on Pavanas, but we still gotta would have gotten blown out by that. Uh, yeah, that would have been worse. Yeah. Like we still have the south of us, like we have a large swath of land that we can use. Yeah, I don't even care about giving plants to purple it either. I think our competition in this one's good PJ, and that's no no uh, no point of derision on purple. I think is a good player, but just the start that Predacore has twenty economy already in a slow game, like yeah, that's gross. Okay. All right, so what are we doing? Um, oh, I forgot. Get, this, get this a, oh. We forgot this try to, temperature restriction. We could try to get AI down. I should love that, dude. We have enough money. It's uh, We have 39, and it's cost 20. Yeah, we do. Let's do that. I'm just totally down for that. You want to do that? Sure. All right, let's get Lagrange on first. Dude, that's a good call. Let's see what this draws us. Yeah, dude, that's the way to go for sure. We have plenty of money because we have investment loan. Yeah. So we'll play artificial photosynthesis and then we'll play freaking AI, dude. Sweet. And that's a building tag, so that's, that's super solid. We're gonna get completely wrecked by TJ though. He's drawn two extra cards a turn, has an economy of twenty, and has a four discount on every good card. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, a little rough, I'll admit. I mean, our, I guess our hope is that we get builder, and then TJ or scratches gets another milestone of some sort. Yes, I mean, I'm just gonna remind you, Nate. There are games where we've been we've been quite close. No, no, I'm not giving up. I just, you know, I just. I'm going to take the power. Okay. Cool. That I just think there's more outs for us to use that power. Yeah. 
That's what I would do. So just make sure we're at three tags. Yep. So we'll go ahead and AI. We'll use the investment loan. Well, I get yeah. Yeah, we have to. I think it's worth it though. Wait, do we have to? Got fourteen and four steel. I guess we don't have to. I don't think we do, but we could. I don't, I don't know. Well, no, you're, there's, you're right. There's no reason to do it. We don't have to. Just play AI and see how many tags does he have. If he gets, now oh, he's got six. But he's out of money, though. All right, so if we have to get to six building tags, if we can. Yeah, we will be because, right, so what's going to happen is if we go, we're going to be ahead of him. If we have two building tags and he has two building tags, we both play them. We still get the initiative to take builder. Mm -hmm. To ever start, if he gets to seven, then we're in trouble. So here's the thing: we actually might want to play this at the end of the turn anyway, to make sure we have enough money. Although, I guess it, I guess it wouldn't matter because we can always play that. Dude, that was a good call, Nima. Yeah. Pretty uh, pretty pumped about that one. All right, let's see what we got. Energy saving and inert gases. Where? We're at six building tags, correct? Yes. And we have a seventh that we can play, which is greenhouses. And that's it. So we have. So this is gonna be tricky, dude. <sighs> we need. I mean, we, the good thing is we have a cheap building tag. So if we get one more cheap building tag, we're good to go. Now you're sure we're. I, I didn't pay attention too much to the building tags at the end of the round. There. It's six six right now. Okay. So we have, uh, oh snap, Mining Rights, great. Finally. Oh man, all these cards are good actually. Like Oof. I would love Protected Habs. I, th I think it's gotta be Mining Rights. Yeah, I think so too. Is that the one you can place anywhere or is that Mining Rights? Arrow Breaking would be sick for us too, I mean. It would. Nate, is that the one you can place anywhere, or is it restricted? No, Mining Rights, you can play anywhere. I mean, it's a good card for us. It's just Gen 7, although this, this game is going to take forever. The problem is, in a, in a three-player game, passing Protected Habs just freaking sucks. We're going to be passing it to TJ, who's going to take that, and we'll never be able to hit his plants again. Uh, the problem so, is, if we pass Mining Rights to him, we're like essentially seeding Builder. Yeah, I, th I think we have to take Mining Rights, dude. It's too good for a, a, a Mining Guild player. I agree, dude. I think we just cut building tags from him. Okay. Although, I mean, land claim's not bad either. I think we just... I don't care. I think we just take the tag for power. That's fine. I mean, the other thing is that we can try and starve him of power. Um... We've got since we have it ecosystems, we could take this just as a micro card. Although I think we're gonna want all our money this turn. That's you are right. We we do want to set up ecosystems at some point. On the other hand, like if, I also in some ways just feel like we should just take any cards that score points. I mean. Well, I, I, we would never play field generators. No, I'd just be cutting it. I, I don't hate Archibacteria. All right. We're going to have to play a little faster here, Nima. So. Um, 34 minutes. Yeah. The way this game is going. Give it a heads up on that. Yeah. So we're going to take mining rights, and that's basically it. I mean, you could convince me to take an Archie. All right. We have enough to do everything if we have this 22 yeah because we have greenhouses we're gonna have to play greenhouses unfortunately but 
Okay. Yeah, it sucks. We're gonna be we're gonna have to pour the plant. Right, exactly. How much money do these guys have? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay, so let's not forget we're focusing on building tags here. Okay, that's not bad for us. That's what we wanted. So I'm gonna take. Uh, we go mining rights here. Yeah, do we take the titanium and just get blown out by? I think we do, but. What do you mean get blown out? By asteroid mining consortium. Oh, snap. I forgot about that. Problem is like... Well, well no, we don't get tit titanium production. We just get the titanium. We do it. The, we, yeah, we do it anyway. Um, oh, wait. We have it. <laughs> I forgot. We oh, have I see. It. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, I see what you're saying. Okay. All right. So now we're at um, seven. <laughs> we have seven tags. So... We're, well, we're should someone else have titanium? <laughs> Let's draw cards here. And we should, well, it, our bailout will just be greenhouses and planner. So let's draw cards. And then if he doesn't, if he doesn't uh, play two, Heather, we're getting some good plants here, so I think it's not the worst. And we have cities down, so it's not a bad thing to do. Yeah, if he doesn't play two steel car or two uh, building tags, yeah, he did not. So that means that we we're not priced into. Well, but we might as well just do it. Well, the reason I say we we might want to wait is that. We don't really want to play gardener. Or any. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What? I mean, we don't want to play. Uh, greenhouses is our fifth tag. So, like, that's not an amazing fifth tag to play. Like, it, that's a better late game card. Okay. Let's just take a look at this terraformer, mayor, builder. Okay, so we're not going to get beaten out on something else. We could mining consortium. So that yeah, you never answered me. Does anyone else have titanium production? Um, yes, they both have one. He's got one. He has one. But we would clearly take it from TJ. And but Not what bad. I I mean the thing is what I hate with taking what I hate about taking we're playing greenhouses right now is that we're we're at um it would put us at seven plants which is really annoying yeah let's just play let's just sell a card and see what they do let's sell extreme cold fungus like we're not playing that card right i mean okay You did say you need to play a little faster. I know. I feel like this is consequential. I mean, we could play this thing too, but I don't want to lose You could play Archibacteria for cheap. All right. Let's do that. As long as we don't dip below. Um, we need eight and four. Eight and six. Which is... Uh, Greenhouses is five. Got all the science cards. Probably has anti grab in his hand. Problem is, like, this is a game that we actually need to be terraforming and, like, trying to win, but we're. I know. Don't have a hand for it. Okay, and still no building tags. He's down to seven. But he's not taking builder from us this turn. So let's uh let's asteroid mining consortium. Okay. It's 
it's nice to do it to someone else for once. Uh, it feels like I haven't done that in about 10 years. All right, so we can also play, we could play imported hydrogen into a plant. It's actually pretty good because it bumps our steel production too. All right, so, oh God, we might've lost it. Uh, he's at, he should be at seven tags now. I mean, he's only at two cash, so he has a way to get it. We're just annoying, but I don't think he will be able to. I, what? I, can't we, can't we just play, uh, the greenhouses? Yeah, but we don't, we, we don't have the money now. So we'd have to play a greenhouses plus plus investment loan. That's two actions. So, but he would also have to play two actions. I don't think he can do it. I I, I just it's annoying. Hold on, I'm confused. Are we we're both at seven right now? Yeah. Okay. So I don't see the problem here. Like he can't afford it, right? I don't think so. I mean. I think we have all the cards that we need. I'm going to play imported hydrogen, like a plant. If we lose it, it's annoying, but. Good play for us. But we lead off next gen, so I mean, we should just be able to play a thing and take it. The only other card is the one that, uh, I mean, he has 13 cards. Like, could he sell a bunch of cards and play? Um, no. Okay, good. <laughs> sell 14 cards and then. <laughs> well, I was making me a little nervous. Um, that's all we got this turn. Yeah, I think we're in the clear then. All right. So don't let me forget to play a tag and take builder. Yep. Got a little lucky there. <sighs> why, is that, why is that? just that we didn't lose builder no we had control of it the whole time and it, it just made me a little nervous at the end um ooh, catapult i like catapult nice um yeah let's take catapult it's great um that's a that's our that's our building tag too pretty sick all right all right that yeah, time is going to be an issue for us to play faster. I feel like these games where you're that you're really like sort of struggling to find a line are, are the hardest ones. You know, like if you just have good cards and you're just like boom, boom, you know, you have kind of a clear ooh, cupola. Nice. I take cupola or Vesta? I would do cupola. Okay. This is not terrible for us, but it, it does. Get, I, know, I like people a better. Um, I think the oceans are going to be done. I'll just take Great Dam because we're going to be playing a couple of oceans. Already at six. Artificial thing doesn't come on until over here. All right, so don't let me forget. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to take Cupola and Electro Catapult, correct? Yeah, do we need power? It's that's pretty good power right there, and it's a and it's steel too. We got to make sure that we have enough money to do everything. So we take nine, that takes us to a nineteen. We play electro catapult. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, let's take it. I, I like it. You know, it's just a steel outlet anyway. We have a crap yeah. load of steel cards. There's a point. All right, so let's take. Uh, we're gonna play electro catapult and take mayor or builder. Oh, good call leaving one behind. We have we can sell green uh we can sell grass too at that, but uh... all right, so then we'll draw cards. We only have one multiplier. Thank you. No, oh, thank you. All right, so I think that what we want to do now 
is like push towards terraforming. Another thing we could do is fund Miner. Yeah, I had that same thought. I mean, I, I don't think we're getting dethroned on Miner. Hey, thanks, Q. Um, so why don't we do that? Let's let's sell. How many steel cards do we have at this point? Not that many. Let's sell a steel and fund Miner. What do you think about that? Uh, okay. Don't forget we have AI. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Demos. The nice play by Scratches. That's good. I mean, I think we want this game to start ending, right? I mean... Yeah, and it's good that Scratches got that. Agreed. TJ's still at 20, like, has no TR yet, so there's that. I'm going to find this miner now. All right, so. But now we'll draw cards, and I think that we just want to, like, freaking breakneck towards terraforming. Like, I, I mean. Yeah, our, our economy's in place. Now we just need to score points. Yeah. Ooh, dang. I mean, yeah. All the discounts. Cards dangerous to pass. Maybe we should just take an eye, but. I don't think so, man. I don't know. That would have just died in our hands. At least it wouldn't have been in his hands. Okay. Virus. Save that. So I think what we want now. We want to play now. Going a comet, maybe? No. We want to get uh, shuttles down, I guess, since we're close now. Um, can't play that. That. Really, there's not much we can do here. We don't have much money left. No, I think we're just passing here. I'm going to pass. All right, well. Hey, two milestones, a pretty pretty much guaranteed award. Well, it's not guaranteed, but it's certainly. Almost. Uh, no. <laughs> what do you mean? We... He's got three production now. Okay, we have eight. And he's got another, he's got five production now. Uh oh. The four. All right, well, what's our plan here then? Like, I don't know, tough one here. Whatever it is, it needs to turn into terraforming. Agreed. Agreed. I don't hate playing that cupola here and just like carving out all these spaces right here. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd wait till I had a, a plant down though. Urbanized area is um, is the only, is the kind of remaining annoying city card, city nuking card. That don't, we, we also did have preserved area or whatever that is. Uh, I think, uh, Benching this. Which one? Say again. The reserved area card. You just like. Um, you reserve the spot. Yeah, that's that's true. Land claim. Land yeah, claim. land claim is less annoying though than like. 
someone oh ecozone there we go mm. that's good we have a lot of stuff i mean if we get viral answers we we suddenly have a lot of stuff <laughs> i mean because we've got a lot of plant cards here that ecozone is a good card for us Nima. yep and so also we can play it here to boost our thing again Ooh, industrial center Let's take that because um, we can put it here. We, I think we do want to get our our mining up just to make sure that we crush miner. Like I, sure. I don't want to have there be any doubt about that. Um, let's take EcoZone. Do you want to take Invention Contest? Uh, I think we have that's enough to play. Pretty off, but... cheap. We do have a lot of we do have card draw, but it is pretty cheap. Yeah, I think we should skip it, Nima. Okay. I'm gonna take Industrial Center though. Okay. Again, cheap. Well we presumably we'll get the money back from that by getting something. Um Yeah, protected tabs. It's been, we've had some awkward draws where we're like, I think we have been sort of forced to take a certain card, but we were just really hooking up. PJ, I mean, we passed an anti grab. I mean, the sponsor's anti grab pick is an in interesting one, but it just sucks to pass that card because you know that you're just hooking somebody up. Um, it's, but the thing is, anti grab, like sponsors was. 100% immediate play, no matter what that generation. Anti grav, there's let there's a smaller chance of that one, right? Like now you don't necessarily know if someone's going to go for that. Yeah, he's got anti. He's got minus four on everything right now. I'm going to go ahead and play this thing while we still can. I'll draw cards here. Okay, so how do we look on awards? Landlord, we're fine. Banker, yeah, banker, we're getting destroyed. Scientists, we're good in second. And thermalist, nothing. So yeah, okay. It's, the remaining awards are not awesome for us, but see what we drew. Media group. Media group's awesome. That's, cool. that's going to generate a lot of money for us, actually. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. I did. So let's. What do you think about playing Cupola here? Where? Oh. Uh, there. Maybe here. It just it just protects us from. I mean, it just gives us huge swaths to put greeneries. Nobody can really get in there, right? Like we play it here. They can't play city. Can't play the only. Yeah, I, I kind of like it, and it gives us access to these good ones here. Yeah, it does. It does claim a lot of area. Well, you do. I mean, of course, you do lose out on points putting it that far away. But it's uh, really it's, get get up in anybody's. Yeah, I don't know. If we play it here, we're protected against urbanized. We get all the money here, and we just have a huge swath of territory, and we can pick up parts if we want. Like, I don't hate it. But why why play but why do you feel the need to play it now? Yeah, I mean that's reasonable. I mean 
Just get media group down before I forget. Um, because I don't want someone else to play the city here. I don't know. I have 30. I mean, I think, look at our hand here. Our hand here is going to be going heavy greenery, right? Like, we're going to be playing bushes, heather, and uh, the other thing. Like, it, I think we're going to want a lot of spots for greenery tiles, and, we, and, and we're just going to want to not fight with people. Interesting. He's going for Io. Huh. Fighting us on Builder. Six. Nine. We can always do that too if we want to. I like getting Kubala down here. Well, okay. Why don't we play? Let's play. Um, let's play Eco Zone. What do you think about Eco Zone? I mean, yeah, that's always good. All right. And Get that card. It's not a great Eco Zone location but what would be better no i mean just like could have gotten more resources from it but whatever um i do think that we want to go ahead and get this anything we can do to build plants right now yeah let's just go ahead and start doing that because this is looking like a game where we just want to like get as many of those things as we get like as many plants as we can and there's still a lot of oxygen tracker here so there's yep all of those are still good points. Yeah, I think we should go. I think we should put it here. The two cards that get us at this point, I think we drew nuclear zone. We have it. Yeah, we, we cut that. But so there's urbanized yeah. area, there's land claim. I think just, just creating more space. Oh god, he's, oh, got, he's got the viral damn. answers. Just creating more space for ourselves is gonna be better. Um So let's I mean I guess the other question is yeah, the question is we want to get shuttles on board. We will it's oh we choose toll station. It's actually good. Is it? Well yeah, because this guy's gonna fund banker almost for sure. How many tags does he have? Six? Eight, and we have, and it's a bump of ten. I think we just play it this turn. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and play. Let's play shuttles. Means we're gonna have to delay Cupola one turn. It's another space guard. All right, so. We have any other space cards where we're going to want to put down? No. So I think we play Toll Station now, and we don't have a power to get Kupala on. We'll have to play it next turn. That's true, Danny. Yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, the thing is, we're not we're not catching him. On banker, the twenty-eight. So I think we should play it. Gen nine. It's not great. That's really good. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna get the benefit out of it that we might have. It was like Gen five. Play Heather. We we actually have a little bit of a point engine here now. This is this is not looking quite as bad as I thought. We are definitely outgunned. He he's got nine cards. I mean, we just gotta hope he draws crappy cards. Um, can we get Kuvala online? And if we play, we should, yeah. 
So I think we can if we apply investment loan and virus because we, we get six money back for that. 16 money back. And then I think we have enough to play either Great Dam or Energy Saving into Cupola. But I, um, I guess I guess there's no urgency on that. I you know like I don't want our plants to get hit. That's that's one thing that would be annoying. We're gonna have eight starting the next turn, I guess. Or we could just pass. I will pass. Okay. This turned into a good game. I mean, I, we we have a fighting chance here of getting. We're pretty far behind on terraforming here. Thirty-eight scratches us. Thirty-eight. Um, oh, kelp farming. That's nice. Ooh. Okay, so we really need to prioritize getting cupola down into a good spot. We take plantation here. I mean, every 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 greenery tile we play is like insanely. It's really good because of the eco zone too. Yeah, let's go heavy plants. Oh, fish, nice. Nice. Okay, so we might be able to get that nuke zone off into a free. I was thinking I was thinking that too, dude. Absolutely. I just hope Scratches doesn't leave with giant ice asteroid. Take arrow breaking or plantation and kelp. You wanna take fish too? I mean Yeah, I think so. Might be running out of money, but pretty good if we take it. We could skip plantation. I mean it's a little pricey. Although I think it's gonna be good. I, I, I think, think it's good. It. Yeah, I agree. I kind of wish we had a power right now because I really want to play a plant and I also really want to get Cupola down. Hmm. I think we have to play the plant though because I, we just can't float those through. If, if, if we make it to our turn right now with plants that we can't float them. Play it over here. Or maybe over here to incentivize somebody to have yeah, crap. Dang. Annoying. God, it's like so unlucky. I mean, it's the problem with, like, he would clearly take TJ's plants if he could. I mean, at this point, though, it just doesn't matter. So I think we just take the, oh, he got the, or the ocean tile, too. Yep. That double sucked. All right. Well, let's just get Kukula down, then. Um, so let's play, I think we play Great Dam. I, yeah, Great Dam into Cupola. Mm -hmm. Cupola. We're going to make a lot of plants in this game. So this Cupola is nice. I save one. I'm going to play it here, Nima. Okay. I think this is actually a really good configuration for us. It's just really hard to interact with, and it takes a ton of space off the board. I mean, it's, and and I think we've faded most of, uh, Demos is out, and so is Giant Ice Asteroid, so I think our plants from here on out are going to be relatively protected. And we have Virus, which is the other annoying one, so. How many of the other, other asteroids, like Big Asteroid got played, Demos, at Comet, I think a bunch of them already were played. And I think Asteroid, I thought. That one's still out there. Okay. So let's, unfortunately, towing is now not great. Um, which we could have gotten that down. We That might have been the best play, might have been to play this, to like play Investment Loan and get this down last turn, just, just to make Giant Ice Asteroid a little worse. But...
Scratches has six plants. I'm going to go ahead and nuke his plants right now. See here. Um, I did play the one that I played media group already, right? I'm going to virus him now. Get some money. Also, just piss him off. <laughs> did you come for the king? You best not miss, dude. <laughs> well, I don't or think it case, is, but we'll oh, see. Oh, pets. Pets. Only six. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> it's not great either. No. Um, all right, we got to get kelp farming down. Fish is almost online. Oh, wait, no, two. Plus two, not negative two. Never mind. So we do lead off next turn. Yeah, he's got like all the card draw. Fortunately, a lot of the good cards are out already. He might just be drawing into nothing. I mean, Dude, like, I mean, when you think about it, like, how many VP does he have, for example? A lot. 23. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he plays the whole science tag thing, man. I mean, right, right, you know. right. Because right. he doesn't have any TR right now, so there's that. Of course, we don't really either, but... But we'll have ground game for sure. Yeah, we're going to have a solid ground game here. Because we're going to play kelp farming and trees this turn. Yeah, we're, I, we're doing okay. I, I think we're doing okay here. It's not like amazing, but it's... If we had gotten that viral enhancers, that would have been sick. Oh my god, yeah. We had a really good shot to win with that. I think we still, if we get lucky, we have a shot to win. But Yeah, and that, I mean, the only thing that's holding us even close right now is the fact that we've got two milestones. Um, I mean, I think Scratches gets it that the game needs to end. So I don't think this is going like 13 generations. You know, like I think, I think it's going to be done on 12 or 11. Which one of them had the third milestone? Scratches. Okay. So Dude, don't, don't count scratches out, man. No, not at all. I, I'm not at all scratching, scratching him out. <laughs> um, like, so far, TJ hasn't really converted into points the way he would have liked, I don't think. We are poised to score a lot of points with our... Uh, with this uh, greenery engine here, because just the way that we've carved out territory, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be in a good spot. Also, if we can last out this turn, we can end we can play investment loan into plantation, and then take two bumps into a bump here to start the next turn, which is quite a good start. So, oh, he's got oh yeah, he's already got oh no, um, yeah okay, I'm sorry because I, I this one's already done, but this one's still active. Yep. Yeah. He's just at thirty eight. Going uh, Jovians. He, he probably has another multiplier. Yeah, he must. He's drawn a crap load of cards. So he played one. We have one. Um, so there's two floating out there. I mean, he's got those. We're just dead in the water. But that is interesting. He's that is sort of signaling to us that he doesn't really have a TR engine. Possibly. Because he's putting a lot of money into Jovians. Sell a deal. Okay, so I think we want to slow roll a little bit here. Let's just play, I don't know, we could play inert gases, pick 10, 
get three back for that. Hey there. Hey. Um, we have anything else we want to play? Plantation. Well, that's what I want to play. I just, I mean, he's still got 38, 33. I don't want to set him up for the bump. I wanted to play one more thing. I'm just going to play investment loan. Gives us 13. It's fine. Whatever. We'll skip. So we play plantation. Are there any other development cards we want to play here? Um, Really? Okay. And he's really fighting us for it. Let's noob zone this Tharsis Tholus here. We want the game to end, and we don't want him to fight. I mean, we, it's another bump for us. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Because he's now at eight. He's at eight production. So, and it cuts off a spot for him. It gets us closer to ending the game. I like that. Let's do that. Kablamo. All right, we don't want the last heat to go because we want to pick that up. You pass yet? We want to get a heat bump with our oxygen play here. Oh, fish is online. Yeah, good point. Let's get that going too. We just need to get as many points as we can. <laughs> 21. I don't think he's going to be able to pass off of that. So I'm going to go ahead and play planting here. Six credits. You know, this city configuration is kind of like a new strategy for us that we could be good to cover in a video at some point. I almost call it like the, the large triangle. Yeah, it kind of is like that. Question is, Nima, do we want to pen, spend seven to bump our steel production? You I said mean, you said that he's at eight. Wow, yeah, she's eight, really caught up. We're at ten. I mean, the thing is, it costs us five because basically we'll get we'll be able to use that steel. Well, I think that's a thing we can do re in a reactionary way, right? If if he gets another one and ties us, then we then we bump and we just keep doing that. Agreed. Now you're totally right about that. Let's do that. Um, we had, I wish we had another tile to drop down there and mess with them. We do not. Let's go ahead and play fish. Let's see. You guys have, yeah. You guys, let's go ahead and play fish. Oh, yeah. Good call. Let's take credit core. Or are we going after Thorgate now? I don't even know anymore. I mean, Thorgate has more board presence. So with our last one here, what do we go for? Are we, maybe we should just do we play pets. I mean, is pets any good anymore? Not great. I mean, it's not like amazing, but all right, he passed. So we're going to be able to get the bump here. I guess then we just play. I want to save uh, Octus Farm if we want to steal. So I think we just play a Lightning Harvest then. I guess. I mean, if we're going to play pets, we should play it now. I. I, yeah, maybe we should. Lightning Heart is not bad either. Yeah, Pets isn't good, but I don't know. 
I'm not 100 percent sure we'll even get a point off of it. But yeah, let's just play Lightning Harvest. Fine. All right. All right, here we go, dude. Let the plants start flowing. He did have the urbanized. I'm glad we did this large triangle. And if we get a tile to mess with them, that would be awesome, too. Yeah. <laughs> the plants must flow. Mining area. There's no more spots for that. And then lava flows. There's no spots for that. So those don't. Let's just cut the photos. Yeah. Do we want to play Phobos? Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Let's see here. We're not going to, we we'll probably play Asteroid Mining. Oh, yeah, we have because that. Because it gives us two titanium. I, I'm not opposed to taking it. I mean, we have enough money here that we're going to play out all these cards. Yeah, I mean, Phobos is a lot of points. I think it's probably worth taking. A lot of words here. Maybe we take Landlord. It's actually pretty good for us. Um, it's like Mohol. Uh, yeah, Mohol. Well, look at our plant production. Like we're gonna, we're up by three on on. on... I think what we do, okay, we start this turn off by just taking plants, getting our bump. Who decomposers? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Although we kind of played out most of our. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, we still have a bunch decomposers with ecosystems. That's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's let's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. But let's play our greeneries here. Just make sure we protect them. Get our heat bump, and then let's see what everybody else does. If it comes back to us, I think we take landlord. And it's gonna, not think, the worst. And I think we take decomposers. I think we skip Phobos because we're gonna plan to play. Asteroid mining. Uh, but can we do both? It's gonna be hard to do both. I think it. You want to take? I don't know. It? I'm cool. I'm cool with I would both. I would take it. It's only it only costs us two if we don't play it. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We could have taken Mohol too, just as a as a way to. Um... You want money yeah. or a card? Play like a card, huh? Uh. Ether's good. I, yeah, probably card. Yeah, that's sick, man. This game's getting spicy now. Yeah, that was a good turn for us right there. So, if this comes back around, we'll take Landlord for sure. Um, we could either way. It's just more well, expensive. Yeah, I don't want Yeah, it's true. So, let's see here. Landlord, Anchor, we're clear second. <laughs> Good Scientists God. were clear Lord. second, and thermalists were not. So I think the ideal would be we fund. Well, I don't know what the ideal would be, but if we get if we can fund landlord for fourteen, I'm definitely doing that. I think we're just going to lose the multipliers here, unfortunately. But gotta hope we gotta hope the purple put one on the bottom. I know. Okay, so you like that play? We'll go ahead and do the yeah, fund the award, put decomposers down. Thermalist, there's something more pressing. A funded thermalist. Mm. That sucks. I we, maybe we should take a mohol. Yeah, uh, it occurred to me, but at least we cut it. I don't. Know, I th I think we still probably fund the award, don't you? I mean, we we suck on the other ones, we don't and we can. Suck. And we, it'd be it'd be him paying twenty credits for three. The problem with funding landlord is that he could catch up. I mean, he's got a crap ton of money. Although it'd be hard. Y yeah, but like, not a lot of we green, have greenhouses of too. All right, you want to fund it? Sure. Yeah. Let's it's only it. six more. I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Dude, dude. Come on now. Let's do it. We're doing it, dude. All right. So let's assume. All right. We got to end this game. <laughs> yep. So let's see here. How many cities are on the board here? One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a plant right there. I mean, it isn't ending this this generation. There's no way. No, but I, I think that we want to. If we play, if we play, okay, we have, so we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If we can get to 16 plants, I don't think we can. All right, so we want to play decomposers next. Yeah. Oh, that's actually good for us. He's huh. re really cut off green right there in case nice. he like goes for a uh, in, in case he goes for a plan to mine. Actually, mine's good. It's a good little insurance policy there. So is heat trapping. All right, let's get uh, let's oh, yeah, get the composers good. down. Thing is, okay, TJ, what does he have? He does have a little bit of um, heat production. The thermalist. We have no other heat production. I guess we have energy safe. Got that commercial. Look at that. That's sick. Oh my god, a four point commercial hub. I didn't even notice that, but well played. Dang. Plant conversion. Medical lab. He's gonna have a lot of money. There's no doubt about that. So, yeah, I mean, like, who cares? Why, uh, the the only thing matter. that makes me nervous about all that money is that if he just starts playing standard projects, because he gets four back on them too. And like, could he? Yeah. Could he just like take landlord from us and only spend twenty for his cards? Like, that's pretty annoying. Um. So let's play. I think we're playing pets now, since it activates two things. Wish we had played that, because we would have gotten the bump when he played that city. It's not great, but if we're going to play Phobos at some point. All right, so now we'll play Noctis Farming, Viral uh, uh, Ecosystems. I don't know. We're gonna play mine for sure. Free. Yeah, he's got he's gonna have so many points on that. Crazy. This is a high VP game for him. Alright, let's go ahead and get play mine before I forget. Let's play um, Noctis Farming. Play Noctis Farming. All right, so the question is, Credit Core now has Oh wow, he's gonna he's gonna get thermalist. He's gonna get second on thermalist. I don't think there's any way we're competing with that. So I'm fine just using local heat trapping to just turn this in. We could turn it into plants. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most likely way to end the game. It ends up being. We also have a you know one point. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it's a big swing. All right, well let's go ahead and play. Play the local heat trapping play and make a plant. Two animals is good, <laughs> but I think this is better. Well, it's it's actually three. It's three points, so it's actually better. Than right. Me. I mean, you could say it's only half of three points because we got four plants, but it allowed us to do the thing. Game is definitely ending next turn. Is there any way it could end? Helpful. So. I think we actually play asteroid mining. Yeah, yeah, the game. Sucks. 
the 45 BP. <laughs> Yikes. Still, like, basically no TR, though. All right, so let's play Asteroid Mining over Phobos. Hey, tags are good. Um, yeah. Or, I mean, Phobos gives us another plant off of... Uh, Well, we get the two titanium off of the asteroid mining. Yeah, let's do asteroid mining. Like a kind of a weak play, but whatever. And then yeah. let's... It's also minerals that helps us get minor. Do we need any more energy? We do not. So let's go ahead and play a magnetic field film. That car's just really not that good. Well, at the end of the game, it's just a sink for stuff. It's fine. I know. Then let's play... If we... Yeah, let's play... Probably just a release of inert gases, right? Where do we bump our thing? We're at 12. He's at 9. So I think we still have a little bit of a lead there. Let's just play inert gases here. Sell two cards though. Good. Anything we can do now to bump this, uh, get more coins. All right. Okay, the only question is, should we do this now? Because we're going to be last next turn. Do what? Greenhouses. Mm, Let's do no. it now. Let's do it now. Why? Because I want to make sure that we get... I want to make sure that we get another point off of playing that, because the game's definitely ending. Well, like, you don't think we'll have enough time to do it? Um, well, that's what I mean. We're going third. So like if it's, it's not, it's unlikely, I'm just saying, but like, there's a way that they could, they could play these oxygen bumps before we get to it. And I, I want to maximize the, the bumps we get off of that. Oh, wow. We only have eight minutes. Yeah, I know. This is the last generation. So, um, I mean, if he's got the other multiplier, I think we're in trouble, but if he's got, um, Ganymede. Yeah. Whoa. None of these matter. I guess we'll just cut strip mine. How are we on land? Thirteen to eight. I think that's going to be hard to overcome. Ooh, titanium mine. Yeah. Mhm. Mm just a, it's just a steel outlet. We're not going to have anything. Well, I guess the question is, do we we spend more steel than than we make with it? Actually. <laughs> So yeah, we won't use that one. Um, uh, we haven't seen Interstellar Colony ship. I hope. Uh, I feel like someone's got that in their hand. Yeah, he's gonna have. He's gonna score a crap load of points in the last turn. There's no way around that. But um, oh, he's only got three cards. Whoa. A yeah, hundred money. Yeah. Wow, he's actually got some. Uh, that's interesting. That's actually he's actually got. Uh, he's only got three cards. Then we have a chance. I mean. Yeah, man. He he built. He he spent too long building his economy. I don't think so. I think he just didn't have cards. I don't know, right. man. I, I. We just don't take any of these. Ah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe does, cloud does, seeding. Yeah, does cloud seeding get us a, a plant at all? I don't know. Let's just take it, and then we can just figure it out. Like, if it comes down to that math or whatever. I mean, that, that was a crappy draw for us, too. Okay, so we unfortunately only play one plant. Okay. 
Yeah, he's gonna start. He's gonna start just trying to play tiles. So we're just gonna try and keep up. This is why I wanted to play that greenery last turn. I see. Right, because we would. I mean, he's definitely gonna play his greenery right there. Yeah, good call. I mean, it would have been one less. It, right. it was unlikely, but it, there was a way that it could have happened. Well, I'm glad we took Phobos, though. I actually am, too. That's going to be good. Um, I mean, we have two Jovians, so this is actually 3-2, but this gives us another Titanic. Yeah. All right. So we're going to slow roll here on this one, then. So let's let's take a card with this one, don't you think? Uh oh, that one, yeah, sure. Now we're gonna skip. We need to slow roll a little bit. Adaptation. Good. Oh, we've cycled. Oh crap. I remember seeing that in a draft. Where are we out here on the land? We're 14 to 10. He still has a lot to make up. Make sure to draw cards. Yeah. The score is right now. It's uh <laughs> it's gonna be big. Oh yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, those are so annoying. Come on, scratches. That's a, that's a, every point we're gonna need every point. All right, we got algae. An open another. city. We got open city. Yeah, that's a good draw for us actually, because we have steel. Thing is, we're gonna want to wait until. We this is why we're gonna need to go one at a time here because we're gonna need to see what TJ is doing with his uh, minerals. He's up to seven cards now. 47 BP. That is the nuts. Gonna have a sure. Yeah, I mean, TJ doesn't have a milestone. We got that going for us. Yeah, no, that's true. We just, I just really hope he doesn't have Ganymede. He's got it. Probably. I'm going to sell a steel. Oh, Scratch has had that one. I'm actually glad he had that one. I mean, although I don't know. I mean, maybe we're losing the scratches too, right? Dude, I'm, that's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, this. I think we're ahead of scratches, but I, I'm. I don't know for sure. I don't know either. It, this is this feels like a pretty intense game for everyone. I mean, we're plus five. I mean, we have 19 VP. He's only got five, and we're plus five on milestones, and probably plus ten on. A, I think we've got scratches, and we have a better board. So I think scratch. I think we're beating scratches. I think TJ is our competition here. He's at forty-eight VP. So I guess I'm just going to play ecosystems. We're definitely playing ecosystems. So I'm gonna, sure I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can do Phobos next turn. Unfortunately, if Algae gets us one off. If we play, okay, has he used any of his minerals? No. So he, right now he's at nine and he's at 17. There's no other minerals on board. I think mineral deposits already played. That's a sick, that's a sick card for us. Really good. Like a five pointer.
So, so right now, okay, so, so annoying, nine, it's just holding us hostage with these minerals. We have more cards than him, though, so we can sell a few. We, we can sell towing and water and forces are going to be my next plays. But he's seeing just a crap load of cards. He does kind of feel like he's just sort of emptying the last of his hand out. He's filtering every time. He's got, like, draws and filters with each one. Yeah. There's a ridiculous amount of AP. We are we clear on minor? No, that's the whole that's the whole reason that we're doing this is that we want to spend all our minerals, but he's got a bunch of minerals and so we can't spend them. And so we're going to turn it to time, hoping to run him out of plays so that we can count what he spent and then we can spend ours. I gotcha. So right now we have 12, 19, 23. He's got 9 and 8 is 17. So we could spend 6 steel if we wanted. <laughs> now that we've cycled, that's Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, we've no, we've cycled, so it's okay. Well, I don't, how many cards are still on the deck? You know, I don't think enough to cycle again. I don't know. Do we know that? I guess I don't. That would be hilarious, though. <laughs> so, what are we doing here next? Are we going to play Phobos? Uh. Yeah, good. Uh, here we go. We are it's exactly 16 right now, so we have two plants. Just play Phobos. So if I did the math correctly, we were up by six. We can spend all our titanium. So, here. We're losing this one. I don't know. This is a pretty intense last generation. That's kind of fun. I think I'm just going to... I mean, adaptation tech, it doesn't cost any minerals. Yeah, I mean... We don't. I mean, Open City is pretty good for us. 16. How many plants does give us? 18. Where, where would you put it? Here. Yeah. Just another tile. Um, thing is, we have to spend steel in order to get this down. Uh, yeah, I mean, how many cards does Green have? How many more times can he can he do this? Five cards. Five cards. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do you want to just play adaptation tech? We have plenty of money. All right. I mean, the play I'm looking at, Nima, is do we standard project and energy to play Open City? And then if so, do we use any type of steel? And I don't think we can. Yeah. 20. We're doing a lot. We're up by a lot. I don't, I don't think we can. We'll never, you never know, but. Unlikely. So, 
Jesus. Oh boy. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and standard project. Uh, and, and or I mean, I, we could play energy saving too. Energy saving is twenty six. But is there any point to do that? Yeah, not really. All right, let's just standard project and play open city. Pretty weak, but I'm not going to use the steel. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, it's a pet. That gives us that half point we needed. Yep. No, that's actually true. I forgot about that. That's actually that makes that a little better. The four point play. We have three. Yeah, okay, that's it. That's our game. Actually, no, because we can play this plant here. Seven, eight, sell these. We can play algae. He gets us another thing, but it gives us a little protection. For 53 points. How much money does Green have? I'm sure a, a bajillion, but. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't think he can catch us on Landlord. So I feel he good still hasn't played Ganymede. No, he will though. I mean, he's just—it's going to be his last play. All right. So then, ten, eleven. That puts us at fourteen. Go ahead and skip. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we can get another plant because even if we sell these two and play algae, that puts us at three. Or 14 and then okay that will be one plant shy roughly if this was if this tile if this is a two, if we could pick up a two tile we might be able to do um I think we should just do it anyway because, like, the money, we're not winning second on money. <laughs> how, so, how sure are you? <laughs> I'm quite, I mean, we're not winning first on that. And so we might as well do this because also it provides some protection for, um, like, if they have more plant hate to make sure that we get that last one. You know, oh, wow. Also, I forgot about that too. But also, eco zones. Okay. Well, that worked out well. Better lucky than good, dude. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's our game. That was a fun game. It's a bit of a nail biter here. I mean, okay. Yeah. Oh, tough one. Well, TJ's clear to use his minerals now. He is. I wonder if there's any way he can catch us on that. Those are going to be big. I mean, if he flips one of those, it's basically game over. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Interesting. All right, dude, we're done. Dunzo. Um, so we have 20 minerals, and TJ is down to, I think he spent some, 9, 13, 14. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're going to be able to get that. So let's just see here. We've got 10 here, 10 here. That's 20. Yep. There it yeah, is. There it is. 57. Yeah, I think we just, I mean, I, that's just tough. I mean, he has minus five or, you know, he's just got huge discounts. He got the totally sick um, discount draw going and just unbelievable amounts of money. So, yeah, I, I, do? I think he clearly won it. Yeah. Like, he, he he actually has a little bit of ground game, too. Like, not a lot, but... No, he, he's just crushing it. I mean, 
that's where credit core is just ridiculous, right? Because think about all the big cards that he played and just got four back on every single one. Like it's just, and he had, had discounts of like, he had Earth Catapult and Artificial and uh, Anti Grab, right? I mean, he was just getting yeah. the cards are just so cheap. I mean, it's just hard to compete with that. So I feel good about the way we play it. I really don't think that there was much more we could have done. Um, looking at our cities at the end, maybe we maybe could have configured these a little bit better for more points, but we're not losing by. We're going to lose by 15, not by 10. So, and we scored a lot of points. I mean, it's a decent game for, for points. Um, all right. Well, GG is. Oh, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. I told you, dude. It was so close. I told you, man. That's frustrating. Oh, Jesus. I mean, God, the Thorgay guy killed us with that. I mean, he took a point from us with the... Um, Holy pre man. Predators. Oh, it's so annoying. Uh, that one hurts a little bit, dude. Not going to lie. I mean, I, I agree. Like, they, they, like I don't know. We didn't. We played it pretty well. And yeah, private's right. Like, we had a we had a really terrible opening. Yeah, that's that's a frustrating one. Now I feel like um, I basically knocked us out of the tournament. But uh, yeah, it's frustrating to lose with that one. I mean, our opening with our opening and everything, and then to lose by two points, so frustrating. But. Uh, what are you gonna do? And you have the nuts. What are you gonna do? Jeez, what a high-scoring game, man! Holy cow! Yeah, I mean this this kind of game. It all comes down to any one play, right? Like if TJ didn't have one of the multipliers, if we had some other card that would have, like if we had gotten. Ice Asteroid or something, or Deimos. You know, it was. It came down to that. Yeah. I don't know. I think we played the crap out of it, man. Nate is in shock, clearly, viewers. No, I'm just trying to think about what, uh, what I would have done differently. I mean... David's saying he would have kept best over Cupola, but Cupola was great for us in that game. I mean, the problem the problem was like a couple things like I mean, we just we he played we played the strongest corporation in the game with Earth Catapult. And we and had a really and, and we had a slow draw. We just really needed we needed uh, I, I mean, I don't know what cards were going through the other players' hands, but I, we passed decent cards, but nothing that was like busted. I mean, I guess we passed anti-grav. I mean, maybe, maybe passing anti-grav was just too good, but I don't, it's possible. I don't, I mean, just with, with what we had in the opener, like just having some money production was really useful for us. Um, I mean, yeah, I still, I still maintain like, Yes, passing anti grav was a gamble, but like, so is like half the time, half the half the drafts you do in this game, right? Like, we didn't know one if he was gonna go hard science, and two, even if he did, he would get to it. Anti grav's not an easy card to play. I mean, he, the other thing is that we just ran out of actions because if we could have. If we could have spent all of our minerals that turn, we could have afforded a standard project greenery, and uh, and that would have that would have yeah. um, tied us. Although then we would have just lost on on uh, tiebreaker. Yeah. I don't know that one's frustrating. That's it's a little bit frustrating uh, to to lose like that. Like, I mean, there, there's nothing that was glaring. I mean, no, I don't think so. Like we we came we like just think of it like optimistically like we overcame such an awful deficit to get to that. 
pretty amazing when you think about it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Um, well, <laughs> well, if I know Nate, he's going to be stewing over this for about five days. No, not at all. It'll take about <laughs> five minutes. I'm going to go uh, drink a beer and play some fucking Switch. I'm sorry. Uh, oop, oop, you're going to have to bleep that, dude. <laughs> Please, please bleep that one. We're trying to make family-friendly <laughs> commentary. Um, and, uh, and I'll move on with my life. But, uh, dude, that was super fun. Uh, the, the, I think, honestly, the, play, the, the series of plays that kept us in it was getting AI going. Uh, that, was, yeah. that was all you, and that was brilliant. Um, I, I didn't see that. And I think that, that that was, I mean, we drew a crap load of cards off of AI. And we drew some good ones. So like that made a big difference. Um, I think, um, yeah, I mean, we were one, we were one big card away from winning, you know, I, either one that he didn't have or one that we had, like if we get viral enhancers, I think we win that game by 15 points. Uh, if oh, yeah. we, you know, if we get um, maybe not 15, but we win by seven or eight. Uh, if we got, um <laughs> I just thought of something that might have made the difference. What's that? It's possible if we had played less conservatively with our cities. Well, I thought I was thinking about that too. I mean, the problem was he he ended up having the thing that we were trying to avoid. He had the urbanized area. So like if we had played Cupola and then he had played urbanized there, it would have nerfed us completely because we, we would have basically we would have basically had fewer slots to put plants around. And he would have scored points off of them. So I think the thing the, the thing that sucked is that we kind of bumped into purple a bunch of times inadvertently. This is this is nothing to do with purple's play. Um, but like uh hey great, hey scratchy, great, yeah, thanks. Uh good game. Is that uh you know, and this is where um protected habitats comes in because towards the end there, I, I think that some of the plant hate that we that we received and some of the um you know like predators and stuff, that would have gone to uh to the credit core player like right sure. i mean tj chose us or the uh the purple player scratches chose us because he had no choice but i think he would have been doing a calculation and saying like well you know i think that the credit core player is likely to be ahead and would have taken some in, in almost any single one of those things uh would have like if he had taken a a, a point off of fish from the credit core player and not us then we tie because we, we would have been plus one fish and the other guy would have been minus one. If he hits like some of that guy's plants and prevents him from playing one greenery tile, we get an extra point off of our greenery when we play it. And you, you see what I'm saying? Like even just yeah, a little bit of hate there, you know, and then we were just a little unlucky that we played mining guild and somebody could compete with us on minor. Um, that's annoying. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's just unlikely. Um you know, and the fact that he was able to have the cards to do that effectively, I mean, that's just, un that's unlucky. I mean, we were making 18, 15 minerals or something like usually you can, if you have a, and we played it well, that we had a way to spend all of them for profit. Um, and we couldn't because we, we had to lock up that the landlord or, you know, the milestone or the award, sorry. So I don't know. I mean, a game that close, like any number of things could have done it. Um, you are right, though. Looking at the final city placement and seeing research outpost with one point next to it makes you think that we could have been a little bit better with our cities. But I mean, we also just bumped into purple there because he freaking played a thing right next to Noctis when we wanted to play it. And that might have been a mistake. Like maybe we should have played on Pavanus Mons, but we would have gotten wrecked by commercial district. Like I think the decisions that we actually made. We're fine. No, commercial district got played pretty early, so like that would that was not an issue. Um, it was no, it was definitely an issue because it wasn't down before we played Noctis, and our decision to play Research Outpost was before we played Noctis. Yeah, but the, the the crucial what I'm talking about, Nate, is the crucial play was the Cupola play. Like if we had played Cupola somewhere else, I I'm not saying this I'm not saying this was a mistake, but this is the only thing I could see that might have made the difference. It might not have, but like. No, you're right. I mean, the, like if we if, if you move Cupola over one right there, we score three more points. Except right. he would have put urbanized area down and and nerfed the whole spot, right? Like, like imagine. I, I, but I, that doesn't nerf the whole spot. It nerfs a bunch of it. Oh, but then it you still have an area to the right. No, no, it play, completely right? nerfs it, Nima. Because look, if we play if we yeah, play the I city one to the left and he plays urbanized area one to the left of that, 
it basically removes points from us. And he gains two points and and removes three profitable spots for us. I mean, yeah, it's like it's right. it would have just wrecked our board. I, you know. Yeah, well, then maybe there wasn't a way. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I'm curious what, like, you know, what other people think about that. But um, I mean, clearly, like, again, a game is close. You could point to any number of things. That's right. I mean, it also sucks that he got, you know, second place in all the awards without, um, without having to spend any money on them. That's always tough. That's a four point swing, right? Like, I mean, if Thorgate gets two points there, it's two points away. Um, yeah. But. Well, uh, work, it, it's it's hard. You you work that hard. You you play that well, and you still lose. It's a little it's a little bit of a bitter pill, but yeah, it was a great game though, and um, it it was, it, it was a good game. So um, I feel proud of the way we played. Yeah, I do too. I feel like we're actually getting a little better now. I I was pretty rusty when we started this uh, this round of the league. I felt like I was uh, I hadn't played in a long time, but um, I feel like we're starting to get get it back a little bit, but I will, um, dude, great times as always, you know, um, the league is awesome. And Hey, you want to know the silver lining by getting an early exit in the league is that, um, I have been offering our services as commentators for the playoffs. Yeah. You're talking to the organizers. I mean, just, just mostly on here, but, um, <laughs> dude, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, but you have to actually have to get that organized to do it so you should, i'm not in the discord maybe i should be but did uh, you don't believe in me uh, that, that's a that's a bit of a leap you don't believe in my powers of persuasion <laughs> oh no i do you just have to do it you just have to beep out my curse word in this one okay <laughs> it's not a big deal um all right guys well hey listen uh thank you all for watching that was a great game um i i am feeling a little salty but i'm getting over it i'm getting i'm starting to feel better i'm gonna go eat a tub of ice cream and you know and we'll be all good um but uh you know i know i'm thinking about that one we played when i was i was with you man and like viewers i'll tell you nate was stewing about that for days was i <laughs> yeah you were what happened? I don't even remember it now. I don't know. We lost that one, and you're just like two days later. You like I walk up to you, and you're like, "God, man, that game!" <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. We're you know. You know. It's funny because, like, I actually think that, like, in most situations, I don't hang on to stuff that much. Like, you know, I mean, dude, my job is to cut cancers out of people's faces. You know, it's like anytime <laughs> you're having a bad day, you're just thinking, like, okay. It could be worse, right? Like, like you know, like I, I always have that in my, in my, in the back of my mind, you know. So, but a kid, you know, you never know. It's just gonna get under your, you know, kind of get under your nails, you know. I mean, yeah, man. There's something about there's something about playing terraforming that just, uh, just gets to you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um. There you have it, dude. Um. Dude, great game. Uh, for yeah, those of you that watch us on the YouTube channel, um, we'll we'll get this thing posted with our last one, and um, they've been yeah, really fun awesome. games. I mean, we're in a strong division, and it shows because every game is is close. I mean, they're they're it's fun. These are fun games. These are good players. Yeah, I don't um, think we've had a single bad game. Yeah, kudos to TJ. I mean, he played it great. Um, I mean, what a cool strategy. It's hard to win that way, honestly. It's hard to it's hard to win the you know, the Saturn systems get the multipliers for, it's hard to win those games against good players. Um, but I don't think he was lucky to get those cards. I mean, he had a sick card drawing engine. Uh, he saw a lot of cards. Like, I mean, I think he earned it. So, uh, GG, uh, please let us know what you think about the game. Where did Nima go wrong in this one? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, we will, yeah, that's it. We'll we'll let you know when round seven's coming up and uh take it easy.